Hello, everybody. How we doing? How we doing? My name is Quantic Flux, and today we're going to be checking out the demo for a game called Dungeon Exiles. Uh, it describes itself as an auto-battler roguelike that is set in a procedurally generated dungeon. So without further ado, why don't we check this game out? Class select. Warrior? Question mark, question mark. Question mark, question mark. Okay, so right now we only have the warrior. That's no problem at all. Let's head on in. Now entering the fallen gate of Azamar, the seat of a noble empire now guarded by the Dread Legion. Where are we? Uh. Can I go anywhere? Hmm. Uh, let's go here, I suppose. Hello. Ability delay, 4 seconds. Mana cost 10. Cooldown, 8 seconds. Auto cast when off cooldown. Strike your target dealing 6 to 10 physical damage and inflicting vulnerable for 5 seconds. Okay. What, uh, what do we got going on here? We're level 1 warrior. That's our Sunder ability. Okay. Battle hardened. 10 to armor. Restore 5 health at the end of combat. Cool. Spells and abilities. That's Sunder. Food pouch. Equipment. Pause game. Okay, let's close all this stuff. Move on to the next one. Skeleton soldier, you say. Vulnerable. Okay, sure. Can't help but notice we're taking an awful lot of damage when we only heal five. <laughs> okay, we're close to leveling up. Hopefully that heals us in some way. Skeletal Shield Bearer. I like the art, by the way. Looks pretty cool. Buff has increased block chance and block amount. Sure. Kind of body in me, my dude. Okay, we've leveled up. Heavy strikes. 15% increased attack damage. 15% to critical strike mul multiplier. 18% critical... Sorry, physical damage. 5% increased attack speed. Critical strike chance. Criti critical strike multiplier. Um... Furious Strike sounds the best. Berserker Synergy Bonuses. These are all Berserker. Okay. I'll select you. Did we heal when we leveled? We absolutely did not. Uh, let's hit an event. A shop, apparently. Potion of Regen. Generate four health every five seconds for three combats. 20% of health. Okay. Maximum health. Sure, sure, sure. Skill effect duration. Uh, life sense shard seems cracked. Uh, okay. I guess that we should go to the bonfire. And we should definitely heal. I'm dumb. Uh, do I know what the stats do? Increase physical attack damage per strength. Increase attack speed per dexterity. Mana regen per intelligence. Okay. Um. I guess we should take strength. Another 2.5% damage all the time. Sounds good. 
Attack speed also sounds good. Uh, fine. Let's go attack speed. Wait, five, four. Okay, we should not have gone attack speed as it turns out. <laughs> uh, we have to go this way. What do you got going on for you? Increased armor. What do we have here? One health every five seconds. Okay, so that's not based on anything. Uh, we definitely need to rest. So let's do that. I would love to take on an elite, but that's a stupid idea. <laughs> so I won't. How do we get new abilities, I wonder? Because our first level up just gave us stats, right? Okay, restores 2.5% of maximum health on combat start. Gain 3 shield on spell or ability cast. 7.5% increased mana regenerate. 12% chance to block attacks, 12% increased armor. I mean, I think I'd like to go with the Colossus one. We can't go backwards, only forwards. Uh, we're going to recover our health, even though I don't want to. Who's a treasure? Redo Intelligence, 10% increased maximum mana, 10% increased cooldown recovery rate. Four to Strength, takes 15% less damage from crits, reflect four damage to attack. Um, I think we're going to go with this one. gonna move in the direction of shop okay we've got a good amount of health now uh the reason i ended up chasing the piece of equipment that i did is because we heal for 2.5 percent of our maximum health and so the more max health we have the uh more we'll be healing okay get bodied nerd ah no i can't i can't to the shop. That's a bummer. Uh, okay. In that case, I guess we go up here to the event. In the distance, you see a small shop protruding from the stone walls. Inside is a mysterious man cloaked in shadow. Greetings, adventurer. Have these dungeons been treating you well? He leans in closer before continuing. Can I interest you in a potion in these trying times? That's an It's Always Sunny joke. Very funny. I appreciate that. But tell me, what are you after? Um... Something to help me fight, I suppose. We have a potion that can make me stronger. Something to help me fight against the horrors of this place. Turmoil and power, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'd like something to help me fight. Turns to his shells before returning with a red potion. Here you are, adventurer. This potion will infuse you with strength. None will be able to stand against you. The potion burns going down, but you can't deny you feel a lot stronger. Gain might for three combats. Okay. I would have preferred to save my money, to be honest. Legion Torchbearer. Has additional fire damage to attacks and increased chance to ignite. Don't ignite me, please. <laughs> Don't ignite me, bro. Okay. Okay, we got a combat. That's a bummer. On reaching full mana, greatly increase your attack speed for a few seconds. Okay. Berserker Colossus. Uh, I think I'd ha rather have the more maximum health, because getting two of these gets me even more maximum health. Okay. 
Now I think we have enough health that we can probably train here. Um, cooldown recovery rate sounds fine, I guess. Another pathetic weakling seeks passage. I'll return you to the surface, a broken corpse. Okay. Executioner deals extra damage against low health enemies. X have a chance to inflict fear. All right. I mean, so far so good. What's, uh, uh-oh. Low health means like half health. <laughs> it's not good. We're still bodying him though, so it's probably fine. Get out of here, nerd. 25% increased attack damage on block for six seconds. 18% increased mana regenerate, blah, blah, blah. 30% increased attack while below 50% health. I mean, that works pretty well with what we got, and it gives us a. Uh, 12% increased attack speed and 10% to critical strike chance. So sure. Now entering the burial grounds where Wayward and the Lost find their final resting place. Who's a second ability? Shield wall. Use your shield high blocking incoming damage. Bolster your defense gaining 9 shield. 2.5% increased shield per point of strength. Okay. 40% incre increased attack speed for 4 seconds. Seems better for my build. Okay, we got $280 ruse. I think... That we go here. Like this maybe go to the elite maybe then back down to a shop reanimated corpse you got a lot of health my dude looks like we got fully healed uh which is both good and bad um good because we're not near dying but it's also bad because we specifically are better under 50 percent health uh our mana regenerate is abysmal we might look into uh, increasing that. Necromancer. A swift necromancer. Beard. Didn't look fast enough. <laughs> uh, cowering in fear. That doesn't tell me much, unfortunately. Uh, 10% increased recovery rate. Increased mana regenerate. I think we just go Executioner. Uh, I guess we could try this one. Uh, of course, adventurer, I have just a thing. The potion teller goes to his shelves before returning with a gray potion. Here you are, adventurer. This will make your skin as hard as stone. Feel sturdier. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. We go to a bite. Increase critical strike chance. Critical strike multiplier. Okay. Shield regeneration. Another fight. You're definitely dying, though. Nice. Okay, I think we go event. You continue on your path, you hear some footsteps behind you. Alert, you immediately turn around and see a man covered in tattered robes. Forgive me, the man says as he lowers his head. I mean to frighten you. I'm a cleric, wandering these roads as you do, and I can provide you some of my divine gifts for a price. 
not very cleric of you. Uh, my journey's along perilous. Could you afford me a blessing of protection so they may survive longer in these halls? Rob? <laughs> uh, I think we're going to ask for a blessing. Takes your gold before reaching for his holy symbol. Lord of Light, I beseech thee, grant this adventure righteous protection. Light swirls around you. You feel the blessing take effect. Greater blessing of protection for four combats. Sure. Um... I think we have to heal at this point. And I think we'd be stupid to... Tr well, have we done an elite? Let's try an elite. Probably pretty stupid, though, to be honest. Increase shield regen. A double increase shield regen. Yeah, dude, we need mana regen, like, crazy bad. Because, uh... Our cooldowns, we're getting there, and then we're not able to cast our stuff. Also, we're, like, dangerously close to dying. <laughs> okay, we got a ton of EXP, though. In three shield on spell or ability cast. Increase mana regen, sounds pretty good. Mana regenerate. I th think... Grab this one. Okay, we don't have a choice but to get into a fight. Okay, we're seemingly in a bit of trouble. We haven't got a new piece of equipment in quite a while. Uh, okay. What do we got here? Three dexterity, critical strike chance, 10% increased attack speed, four intel, gain one shield on spell or ability cast, take 15% less damage from critical strikes. Hmm. We got to do this one. We might die here. Yeah, I think we're dead. Holy. Dude, if we get a single fight in one of these events, we're screwed. Absolutely, we're asking for healing. <laughs> that was lucky. Cleric takes your gold before placing his hands on you. Lord of Light, grant me your aid so that I may heal this adventure. You feel the light flow through you, mending your wounds. Sweet. Okay. Traverse the winding corridors. You take a wrong turn and find yourself lost in darkness. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. And as you do, you see something shifting behind you. The darkness seems to ebb and flow, almost as alive and hungry. Uh... Okay. Running is the smart decision. But we're going to do this instead. You study the shifting shadows and determine they are certainly unnatural. They almost seem otherworldly, and you can tell their source must be coming from deep below the dungeon. They're unnerving, but at least you know a bit more, a bit more about them. You gain 143 XP. Nice. Gain 1% attack. Increased attack damage per shield while shielded. I don't get shield very often. Gain 5 shield. I'm taking a critical strike. 14% increased armor. Gain 4 shield. Every five seconds while below 50% health. Um, I mean, this is objectively the correct thing to do. Gain one health on critical strike and plus 15 to critical strike multiplier while below 50% health. Okay. All right. Going to go to the shop. What do we got? 5% chance to block attacks. 5% chance to dodge attacks. Kill effect duration. Critical chance. Armor, max health, max health. Uh, we only have like, like, what can we equip? Can we get all these? For example, can I buy both this and this? 
and also another helmet. Yes, apparently. Uh, okay. Hmm. Her chance is 12.5%. Chance to block is 9%. Do we have a dodge chance? I don't see a dodge chance. If we don't have one, we should get one. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have one. Okay, so that was probably the smart thing to do. Would have liked to have the crit chance, but that's okay. Okay, we're broke now. I think we definitely rest. And we're off to a boss. You dare violate the sanctity of these burial grounds? You shall join the dead! Okay. There's a strong chance that that's true. <laughs> soul Slash. On reaching full mana, slash all your targets at your target soul, dealing 9 to 11 shadow. Okay. I think fear might just make us stop attacking. Okay. Okay, we're starting to go kind of crazy. We definitely need more mana regen. Feared sucks. Come on, dude. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, we got this. Get bodied, nerd. 6% uh, chance to block attacks. 8% to all elemental resistances. 12% increased attack damage. 14% increased maximum mana. 12% increased mana regenerate. 10% chance to bleed. Hmm. I want the increased mana regen. But we get more of it by getting this synergy bonus, so we're going to select this. Now entering the Rotways. Once secured, there's one sacred halls of worship, now something or other. <laughs> um. Oh boy. A lot of fights. I'd like to hit a shop. But I also want EXP. Our only options to hit a shop are here from the top and here from here. Um... A lot of events and stuff. I guess I'll go this way, but I'm worried that we're going to die. Product Scavenger. Max deal extra nature damage and has increased chance to poison. Don't poison me, bro. Okay, considering how much damage we're currently taking, I think I made the wrong choice about <laughs> the direction to go in. Because uh, this is one fight of like a dozen or so that we have to take. Like, look at this, man. Rotting Ghoul. Okay. Going okay now. Get wrecked. Uh, Vanguard, we have nothing. Gladiator, we have nothing. 3% chance to block attacks after inflicting a bleed for 7.5 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. 10% chance to gain 100% critical strike chance when hit for 3.5 seconds. Yeah, we're going to do that. Crits heal us once we're under 50% health. As you approach a clearing, you notice the remains of a campsite. 
Fires dwindled up to embers with signs of a hasty departure. Supplies, including a partially filled backpack, are strewn about. The air is filled with a sense of unease. Next to rate clues. Here the supplies. Rest. Leave. I'm going to search for clues. In your search, you find a torn map of the local area with few areas marked. It seems the campers had an encounter with some nearby creatures and fled to one of the marked locations on the map. You feel as if you understand these halls just a little more now. Wait. As you turn the corner, something catches your eye. A chest tucked away in the darkness. As you approach, you feel a suspicious aura. The chest may be trapped, but it could also contain treasure. Okay. Uh, I want to check for traps, but I feel like this is intelligence, and I'm I'm a dumb, dumb man. Okay, you successfully deactivate the main trap within the chest, but in the process, you trigger a secondary trap that slices your hand. Brushing off the pain, you manage to loot the chest. That was not worth it. <laughs> it was not worth it at all. Okay. I'm not liking our chances here. Ah, uh, we're definitely going to survive this fight, but I'm talking about the bunch of fights we have in a row afterwards. One, two, three, four. Four more before we can heal. Woof. Okay. Ooh, boy. In three maximum health at the end of combat. Um. I guess. I don't think this is going to help us much, though, to be honest. I think we're dead. <laughs> Vampiric touch. Yeah, we're screwed, man. Come on. Body him, dude. Holy. Okay. We're so dead, dude. <laughs> he missed. Let's go. Come on, dude. You can do it. Holy crap. Last one. You can do it, dude. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. No. <laughs> All right. And so ends your tragic tale. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, it is, in fact, a roguelike. Not a roguelite. Uh, that was pretty fun. I had a fun time. Um, I think that I would like it if there were some rerolls available possibly some banishes like for example if I didn't want to see a particular berserker trait I could banish it um, or at least reroll to see if I can get a synergy going better um, ultimately I definitely chose the wrong path and that killed me so there's some strategy involved uh, but yeah I like what I saw here uh, it would be interesting to see the other classes. I'm sure they probably have their own perks, which is neat. And uh, I like the synergy system. So I recommend you check the game out yourself. It was a fun time. And uh, yeah, thank you, Dev, for making it. Good work. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like and or a comment. <laughs> it would help me out immensely, get me uh, some engagement, hopefully noticed by the algorithm. And I would appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more from me, my name is Quantic Flux. I put out several videos a day. You just watch the Check It Out series where I play a new, usually indie, usually roguelite every game every single day. Sometimes I mix it up. And uh, yeah, just want to thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.